please hit that subscribe button. Hey everybody. Better suited to win the Stanley Cup this season. If you are new to the channel, the Washington Capitals, the Boston Bruins. Locked out and he scores! And we're live. Hey everybody, so we're back again for another episode of Enforcer Hall of Fame and today I will be inducting into my Enforcer Hall of Fame one of the best known enforcers of the 2000s in the NHL, George LaRock. Before we start, I just have to ask that you please hit that li uh, like button and subscribe to the channel if you are new. So both of those things greatly, greatly help out the channel and are very much appreciated. But let's get into it here. George LaRock, right wing for 12 seasons in the NHL. Put together a very fine career as an enforcer, one of the toughest guys in the league. Actually voted the toughest guy in the league multiple times by his fellow players. Uh, played 695 NHL games, scoring 53 goals, 100 assists for 153 points, and 1,126 penalty minutes. So... LaRock could actually kind of chip in offensively, certainly not by the end of his career. The offense was gone and the game had certainly passed him by speed wise. But early in his career, LaRock could actually play offensively as well. Um, you know, he was never more than a fourth liner, but as a fourth liner, he could put the puck in the net a little bit and rack up some points. As you can see, by 153 career points, those are certainly not slouch numbers. Um, but LaRock also fought 133 times in his NHL career. Uh, the most fights in a single season for George LaRock came with the Edmonton Oilers in 2001-2002 when he had 18 fights. Yes, LaRock never had more than 18 fights in a season. And quite frankly, he didn't fight that many times in a season. It was usually, you know, somewhere between 10 and 15 or around there. Uh, it was hard for George LaRock to find fights. People did not want to fight him. Uh, he wasn't a guy who was going to come out and fight 30 times a year because he couldn't find opponents 30 times a year. He would, people were, you know, he was one of those guys that that put fear and intimidated his, their, his opponents, and they did not want to have to fight him. So as far as being an enforcer goes and, you know, that affecting the other team, LaRock was one of the best because they did not want to have to fight George LaRock. So, um, you know, he never really fought too many times in a single season. You know, he was never fighting 25, 30 times because he didn't have opponents that would fight him that many times. Similar to what the issue that Ryan Reeves has currently in the NHL where there just aren't that many people left in the league that can fight Ryan Reeves. Now, the difference is now there aren't people left in the league who can fight him. When George LaRock was playing, you still had enforcers on every team. And you had tough guys in every lineup. Still, nobody wanted to fight George LaRock. And that, I think, shows how great of an enforcer he was, how intimidating he was, and you know how tough he was as a player when he was in the league. Now, his best offensive season came in 2000-2001, where he actually had 29 points that year with the Edmonton Oilers. That was one of his first years in the league early in his career. And uh, he, he, you know, like I said, early in his career, he could play a little bit offensively and could chip in a good amount of points, you know, from the from a depth player role. And uh, 29 points in 2000-2001. Five times in his career, he went over the 100 penalty minute mark. Um, uh, four of those five times came with Edmonton. One of those times came with the Pittsburgh Penguins in 2007-2008. Um, the rest of his seasons, he did not hit the 100 penalty minute mark either, be mostly because of games played. Um, if he wasn't, you know, in the lineup regularly, uh, he wasn't in the lineup regularly towards the end of his career, um, and then obviously very early on in his career, he wasn't, you know, necessarily in the lineup every night. So. Um, he did have five 100 penalty minute seasons though. So uh, yeah, he, he was a tough guy and it was really hard to find people that wanted to fight. Nobody wanted to fight him. Some people had to fight him, but it was, uh, it was not easy for him to find fights. Uh, he broke into the league in 1997 with the Edmonton Oilers and played with them all the way through 2006. And his best years of his career came with the Edmonton Oilers. The mo his most active fighting years came with the Edmonton Oilers. And that was certainly the best time period of his career from 97 to 2006. Then in 2006-2007, he split uh, that season between the Phoenix Coyotes, where he spent most of the year, and then he ended with Pittsburgh. He played the full 2007-2008 season with the Pittsburgh Penguins. 
uh, went to the Stanley Cup final that year, but lost and then just missed out on a Stanley Cup by a year as he went to Montreal the next season for his final two years, 2008 through 2010. And then obviously Pittsburgh, um, who brought in Eric Goddard to be the enforcer uh, for that season, not LaRock, went on to win the Stanley Cup the next season in 2008, 2009, right after he left. So he was one year off from being a Stanley Cup winner in Pittsburgh, but it just didn't turn out to happen that way. But you know, through the 2000s, he was one of the toughest guys in the league. Um, absolutely a feared enforcer, somebody that nobody wanted to fight. Multiple players backed down from LaRock and didn't want to fight him. And uh, he had a very, very strong career. Like I said, you know, 133 fights, 153 points, over 1,100 penalty minutes, almost 700 career games played. Um, for a fighter, that is not too bad. And then obviously by the end of his career, when he was in Montreal, he wasn't playing all that much and the game kind of passed him by speed-wise. And uh, he certainly wasn't the player that he was before. But still very, very deserving of being um, in, this, in the Enforcer Hall of Fame. Certainly one of the toughest guys of the 2000s. Uh, very, very feared and intimidating player. And uh, one of the best well-known enforcers, I think if you ask people, you know, to name NHL fighters and, and guys that they know were, were enforcers in the NHL, uh, I think George LaRock would be a guy that a lot of people think of very quickly, especially if you watched hockey through that time period, through the, through the 2000s, you know, when he was with Edmonton, when he was with Pittsburgh, um, he was a very well-known player there. So, uh, that does it for this one, guys. Uh, like, comment, share, subscribe, follow on social media. All those links are down in the description below. If you'd like to further support the channel, the links to our Patreon and merchandise store are down in the description as well. Keep spreading the word about this channel. Let's keep this thing growing. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll talk to you guys soon.